Good morning guys. We are super excited because it is getting towards fall and starting to get cooler. So we're going to go ahead and plant our, um, our raised garden bed that we had cleared out a little while back. We have a lot of vegetables. We have broccoli. We have cabbage. We have collards. We have Brussels sprouts. We have we have a lot of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how much we can fit into this little six by six little garden bed. I think it's six by six, maybe five by six. But we're going to see how much we can fit into here. And then whatever we can't fit in there, we're going to plant over there in the, do um, the raised dog bed. Now I've got some helpers today. Uh, my husband's home, so he's going to be out here helping me. Courtney's here. She's bringing over the plants, and we're just going to get to digging because that's what we do best. Ain't that right, Courtney? Mm -hmm. The worms are moving. There are worms in there? They're awesome. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Look at them. One there, one there, one there. <laughs> one there. Now that we've got everything kind of mixing and everything, we're going to go ahead and start planting. Now we only, as you know, that we only have like a six by five foot bed. So basically 30 square feet. So we're and gonna the other spots fit, are bigger than that. We're going to try to fit as much in here as possible. We're going to put each plant. My husband says 16 inches apart. So we're going to go by his because he knows what 16, 16 inches is because he is a contractor. Courtney, you can come and step in. How many are you doing? How many is going? Four? What? I mean, going for? Courtney, what are you getting out for? I don't want the worm to go on my hole. On my crock. In your hole in your crock? Yeah, right there. Oh, they're not going to climb in, though, in yes, your shoe? Yes, they are. They're climbing <laughs> on my shirt. Okay. So we're going to plant the collards. All right now collards will grow two to three foot tall and they're 45 days till harvest. So 45 days from now uh, they should be ready to harvest. This is broccoli. Huh? Alright guys, uh, broccoli takes 57 days after planting to harvest and the head of broccoli is going to be about 5 to 6 inches in diameter. Alright, so we're going to do the cauliflower. Y'all, these plants, they look kind of weak. I hope they grow. And these were some of the better ones. Put them up there on there. And make it a little higher on it. I mean, uh... You get me another one out of there, Courtney? I don't think so. You don't think so? They're kind of weird, ain't they? Yeah. It's hard to get them out.
Corny, you want to get your uh, shovel over there? I really don't want to mess with this tomato plant, but I'm going to cut it back as much as possible. And we might complain along the back side of it or whatever we're going to do. We got a, there's a thousand tomatoes on that thing. I know, but I got to, I guess I got to just got to be careful on what I cut. As it long as I get one tomato off of it, I will be happy. One tomato, I will be happy because these are what? my white Cranton grape tomatoes. And I have wanted to try those ever since I got the daggum plants. Okay. Hey, you think you might be able to re-transplant that one up to that top corner so they're side by side and we can have this whole back section of the plant? Steven, it's all one plant. Oh, is it? Oh, it looks like two for a minute. No, it's all one plant. Okay. I'm going to show y'all what's going on with these, these sweet potato vines. I might go ahead and just pull them up because I want to get the rest of my plants planted. But I ha I do know that there is sweet potatoes growing on this, this vine. Right. I know that um, they're a little itty bitty, but I will show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I planted, I planted right in here. So give me the pitchfork thing that I used to aerate soil with. Now I planted right here, I planted a um, one of my cut sweet potato vines. All right. And so we're gonna pull this up. We're gonna see what it is. Now, I am pulling this up just because I am limited on garden space. I do not have a lot of room. So we gotta do what we gotta do, even though I would love to see these sweet potatoes grow all the way out and see what happens. I'm just not able to do that right now. But if we get this property. We'll be able to do it. Exactly, and I'm super excited about that. There's a lot of trees that come off of that thing. All right, so we're going to dig down. There's the starter one. Yep, you see those starter sweet potatoes? Now, the thing that I like about having or planting already grown plants I would say is you don't have to mound it up. I don't like doing mounds in a raised bed. It takes up a lot of room. By, by planting plants that has already been, has started, it's actually doing a lot better as far as, or it's doing a lot more. Push the sprouts along the back. All right, so we got Brussels sprouts here and cabbage here. So we're gonna plant the Brussels sprouts in a straight line along the back. Yeah. All right. This is my first year of growing Brussels sprouts, so we're gonna see how these grow. Well, then I'm gonna get on the back side of it so they're not in the bed.
right, so we're doing collards in this area. Watch out, Gracie. Put one foot there between them. Don't step on my collars. So we're gonna do the collards over here. My radishes didn't do that good, so this is what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna dump all of them. And I'll need to plant this one here. All right, so we had a really good day today. We got both garden beds planted. We got uh, um, the collards planted up here. Um, we even got green beans on our, on our green beans. So we're just gonna, I, I picked those few that was on there, but there's still more growing. We are really excited to have all this still growing from the summer season. And we are even more excited because we have planted our fall garden. And we are super excited about that. Um, so all I need, all I want to say is thank y'all so much for watching and please keep watching and y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.